Good, good afternoon. I'd like to welcome parents, pupils and staff to this virtual speech day. I'm only sorry that I can't welcome you in person. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Charles Packshaw and I had the privilege of taking over from Bill Rimmer as your Chair of Governors in December. This past academic year has been like no other that any of us have experienced. We've all had to manage another lockdown and the restrictions that the pandemic has placed on school life. Our staff, I hope you'll agree, have delivered very high quality remote learning and have risen to the challenges the pandemic has placed on them. Our pupils too have had to adapt to new ways of learning and they've done that brilliantly. Last but by no means least, our parents have been fantastic at supporting their children and the staff during lockdown and the rest of the year while also managing the implications of COVID-19 on all other aspects of their lives. I'd like to thank all of you for the way that you've helped us to navigate a year like no other. I should, at the end of this term, give a very special thanks to Martin Mars Allen, who has been the head of the prep school for the second time until the arrival of Jonathan Egan this term. I'm very pleased to say that Martin continues with his chemistry teaching and leading college development and outreach. We welcomed this term Jonathan Egan as the new head of the prep school. He joined us with a great reputation at Bedford School, and I'm sure you'll agree he's already made an impact here. This year, we've also seen the start of the implementation of Louise North's exciting strategy for the future of Frowningham College, Vision 2025. We've articulated a pastoral care and wellbeing strategy and introduced a new pastoral program across both schools that equips our pupils with the skills to meet life's challenges and thrive in an increasingly complex world. Importantly, it also reinforces our focus on the well-being and mental health of our pupils. We have begun to introduce our new year seven to nine curriculum in place of the common entrance. It's a rich theme-based curriculum designed to challenge pupils to dig deeper and ignite in them a curiosity and hunger to find out more, whilst also preparing them for life at the senior school. We've also seen our new website go live this week, clearly expressing the college's educational ethos and in doing so, rightly raising its profile. All of these changes reflect our philosophy that we believe in individuals at Framlingham College. There's no standard Framlinghamian. Our excellent pastoral care and the breadth of our curricula and co-curricular opportunity enables every pupil to create their own story. And we can see evidence of this in the breadth of successes in the prizes being awarded today. At this time of year, we also say goodbye to those who'll be leaving the prep school. The majority of you will be looking forward with excitement to joining the senior school. We look forward to welcoming you there to share in the great sense of momentum that Louise and her team are creating across the college. Others will be leaving the prep school and we wish you every success at your new schools. We hope you'll stay in touch and look back at your time at the prep with fondness. Lastly, to parents, pupils and members of staff on behalf of all of the governors, thank you for your continued support of the college. Seven Drama Activity presents Connected, the past year at Framlingham College Prep School. September 2020. Welcome back students, I hope you have a wonderful year. Do you guys want to hear a really scary story for Halloween? Oh no, they didn't run out of toilet paper at Tesco's again, did they? <gasps> November 2020. Happy lockdown birthday! Present that door, miss you! Thanks, happy please. lockdown birthday, see you soon! Thanks, happy lockdown birthday, FaceTime me later! Bye, bye. Nice lockdown birthday. 
way. This is BBC News, passing over to Boris Johnson. I am very, very sad to announce that we'll be going into our 97th lockdown. Yes. And that all schools will be unfortunately shutting down. No. February 2021. Welcome students, so it's so lovely to see all your faces on camera. Uh, miss, you're on mute. Oh, I'm so terribly sorry. Thank you for letting me know, Charlie. Let's move on with class. March 2021. <sighs> Good morning, students. Can anyone turn their cameras on? It's like I'm talking to a brick wall. April 2021. That's the ball for Crowley Prep School. Yes, it was the first match of season who won. May 2021. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so much fun! Science Week is so fun! July 2021. Oh, I miss you so much! Bye, bye! Don't forget your speech, Thank you so much! Bye, everyone! Bye. Despite all the challenges, we are still connected. Good afternoon and welcome to Speech Day. Speeches are always an important responsibility and a speaker should always be aware of the precious time the audience spends listening. This became ultimately clear to me when I was best man at a wedding and the master of ceremonies came up to me at the end of the meal and said, are you ready to begin your speech, sir? Or shall we let everyone go on enjoying themselves just a little bit longer? Anyway, this afternoon, I shall try to make it relevant and interesting. And I hope the boys and girls show their impressive listening skills. Now, at the risk of understatement, this year has been most unusual. Who would have thought that just over a year ago that coronavirus would affect our lives so much? It feels like a completely different world we inhabit. As we often find in times of adversity, human spirit and indeed family and college spirit has shone through. And there have been many uplifting moments worldwide and much to be exceedingly proud of in the prep school. Sports Day was a fine example of family and college spirit where children and parents came together to celebrate the sports day. And I noted the commitment and support when children came from all houses onto the track to support their peers in the final stages of the 1500 metres. Now in a moment, Oscar and Lucia, our head boy and head girl, will give their report of the year, pointing out just a few of our many highlights. But before they do that, I would like to make a few points. Firstly, I could not be more high in my praise of the community and the way that we have pulled through this together in this time of crisis. 
The boys and girls have been awesome, adapting with maturity, determination and grit to a new way of learning. Teachers have been imaginative and dedicated and learned just as much as their charges. To teach is to learn twice, they say. And this has certainly been true with regards to technology. And parents have led the way and shown us the real meaning of our most important value, kindness, with innumerable supportive emails and comments. Whilst we have had a term of remote learning, the music, sport and drama, whilst not receiving their full glory, have still been magnificent across the whole year. And I am sure you do not need to be persuaded of the benefits of these areas of life. We hold them dear as they help us to learn so much about ourselves and about each other and life in general. Respect, determination, self-expression, creativity, how to build leadership, self-esteem and teamwork, and of course, how to win and lose with equal grace. The music and drama has been just as impressive even continuing with a bit of imagination from boys, girls and teachers during lockdown. In a few minutes, the string ensemble will remind us of just how good it has been. But before this, I would like to say a few words about our head boy and head girl. I may have had the opportunity of a sneak preview and I must say that yet again, two superb speeches from Oscar and Lucia, matching the quality of their tenure as head boy and head girl and they epitomise the sort of kind, determined, hard-working, positive and confident people that we would like all of our children to become. And they rightly mention the impact of the other prefects, who have been equally excellent this year. As William Arthur Ward says, that the mediocre teacher tells, the good teacher explains, the superior teacher demonstrates, while the great teacher inspires. And there is no doubt that our teachers have inspired all of our pupils, and vice versa, by the way. So the school's success is almost wholly dependent on the staff who work here, and we are extremely fortunate to have such a dedicated, talented and committed staff who will go that extra mile for our boys and girls, even learning how to harness new technology and write new courses. With that in mind, we say thank you to all of our teachers and bon voyage to a handful who have left an indelible mark on the school and the boys and girls that they have taught. Dr Edwards, who stepped into the breach for Mrs Royal in the science department, and Mrs Moon, who has transformed the teaching of science in her time here, masterminded some cracking enrichment and even aided the creation of the outdoor education programme. Mrs Cullum has been inspiration in all guises, in drama, languages and English departments, and inspired with such positivity and dedication both on and off the stage. We must also bid farewell to our three GAP students, Anya, Esme and Sophie, who have arguably had the toughest journey of any GAP students to date, and absolutely excelled and thrived despite lockdowns. So thank you to them all. I hope they leave knowing the truth of Henry B. Adams' words, that a teacher affects eternity. He or she can never tell where his influence stops. And teaching is the essential profession, the one that makes all other professions possible. I would like now to take a moment, and I'm sure you want to join me in saying a huge thank you to all of our staff, both academic and support staff, who work amazingly hard at this school to provide the best they can for our boys and girls. Thank you too to our governors, who have been amazing in this time of crisis, highly talented, incredibly supportive, and offering high levels of advice, and always putting forth the view of parents, boys and girls. I would also like to thank all of you, our parents, for your tremendous support. And I would especially like to thank the friends of Framlingham College Prep School, who regularly go above and beyond, in particular our Chair, Mrs Lamprell. In the final part of this speech, I would like us to concentrate on our Year 8s as they prepare to leave the prep school and embark on the next stage of their education, where it starts to get a little more serious. And we are sad that this year has been a little fragmented. However, I am pleased to have had the pleasure of sharing the last term with them 
and we have been mightily impressed with them over their entire time with us. So I have two bits of advice for them and for all pupils. The first I borrowed from Mark Twain, who says, keep away from people who try to belittle your ambitions. Small people will always do that, but the really great make you believe and feel that you too can become great. And the second, somewhat timely from Arthur Ashe, the only black male tennis player so far to win three Grand Slams, simply says, start where you are, use what you have and do what you can. Now you will pick up lots of advice along the way and one day you too will be able to give advice to others. So let's hope they listen to you as much as you listen to others. Now this year we have continued to develop our reading culture. Reading will always be a fundamental way of stretching the brain, improving focus and analytical skills and will increasingly give our boys and girls power in an increasingly technological world. In Jim Rohn's words, reading is essential for those who seek to rise above the ordinary. Or more simply, according to Dr. Zeus, the more that you read, the more things you will know. And the more that you learn, the more places you'll go. So I implore you to utilize the summer and pick up a book or 10. Have a great summer and I look forward to welcoming you back in September.
governors, headmaster, teachers, parents and pupils of Framlingham College Prep School. Well, what an extraordinary year it has been, again. Despite the best efforts of the pandemic, through the determination, energy and hard work of all the teachers and support staff, we have managed to enjoy as close to a normal school year as possible. I was looking for some inspirational quotes about how to cope with adversity. And I have come across something I think is really relevant from none other than the famous rapper LL Cool J. When adversity strikes, that's when you have to be the most calm. Take a step back, stay strong, stay grounded and press on. I'm really proud to say that this is exactly what we've done at Framlingham College Prep School. Well done, everyone. Being out of school for some of the year has made us realise even more just how lucky we are to enjoy everything that Framlingham College life has to offer. From the inspiring academic lessons to the amazing art, superb drama and great sport. Everything is for everyone, whatever their strengths. And we all have opportunities to find the things we are good at. The supportive and fun teachers have made my time at FCPS unforgettable. I started with a bang in year four with the brilliant Mrs. Bull. And since then, I have enjoyed the care and attention of the teachers each year, both on and offline. The prep school is a place where memories are made. A favourite of mine was in year five, when we visited North Norfolk to enjoy the activities, the sea, and that familiar, rejuvenating sea smell. One day on the beach, I found an interesting crab shell, which I thought would be a great souvenir. I brought it back to the dorm in a bag filled with water to preserve it, so I could share my exciting find with my mum once home later that week. The following night, I awoke to the most horrific smell. I peered over my top bunk to see which of my dorm mates might be responsible and saw instead the stinky crab shell looking rather worse for wear. Many of the people in my dorm can remember that exact smell to this date and have been certainly scarred by it. Four weeks ago, we took part in one of the most fantastic trips we have ever been on and I'm sure I speak for all the year eights. From the daring water sports to the petrifyingly fun high ropes, our time at Norfolk Lakes will be one we'll never forget. Thank you to Mr. Loveridge, Mrs. Kingston, Mr. Webster, and Mrs. Manning for a fantastic time. A special thank you should go to Miss Wimmer, who not only made our time fun, but who also spent half an hour scrabbling through food waste and bin liner bags to help find Maddie's brace that she had accidentally left on her tray. We were told we would learn many important life skills on this trip. Lockdown was a difficult time for the whole country, but the teachers and pupils at FCPS are a resilient bunch, and we tried our best to keep going LL Cool J style. Online learning certainly presented many opportunities for humour and fun. We got to see a whole new side to our teachers. The appearance of dogs, babies, fancy mugs, new DIY hairstyles and special exotic backgrounds kept us entertained even when the teacher was accidentally on mute. Mr Wade changed his appearance so many times through lockdown that a couple of times we were worried that we had turned up to the wrong teams meeting. We want to say a special thank you to some of the staff who are leaving this year. Mrs Moon has made science a joy and in lockdown she definitely went above and beyond. When striving to make science exciting via video link, she was extremely creative. We particularly enjoyed the science of baking activities, where we bake bread and cakes. One lesson, we were asked to shape our bread in the shape of an animal. I created an orangutan. I'm not sure Mrs Moon was very impressed when she asked me what I had done to the poor thing. Why were all his organs out of his body? As you can see, both she and her sense of humour will be hugely missed. The multi-talented Mrs Cullum is like a second mother to us all. 
She's always there to talk to and is caring and understanding. She makes her lessons fun, whether it's English, Spanish, French or drama. We will miss her care and enthusiasm greatly. I have not had the pleasure of being in a class with Mr Edwards, but many of my friends have, and they have told me he is kind and helpful. I have also heard the excitement spilling out from the class through the open door during experiments. Thank you for standing in so well for Mrs Royal. FCPS doesn't work without our amazing gappies, and we want to say a special thank you to Miss Potter, Miss Rowe and Miss Swimmer who have worked tirelessly in their time here and bring so much fun and care to everything they do. Finally, we have really enjoyed being head boy and head girl of this amazing prep school and wish the head boy and head girl, prefects, leaders and ambassadors for next year the very best of luck. Our advice is you get out what you put in. If you make the effort to connect with others, listen to your peers and try to do the right thing, you will be amazing leaders. We would like to thank our year group for being a friendly, fun and fantastic bunch. So, on our behalf of all the year at pupils, we would like to thank everyone for making our experience at FCPS so memorable, remarkable and educational. We will miss our school family as this chapter of our school journey ends, but will never be forgotten. So to end, I have written an electro-industrial jazz piece. Three, two, one, hit it! I'd like to say thank you!
Thank you for joining us today and for celebrating Speech Day with us. What an extraordinary year. We began September in the safe hands of the charismatic Martin Myers Allen, filled with optimism and hope for a return to normality. Although that was not to be the case, the staff and pupils of the prep school have adapted and simply got on with the task at hand. And for that, I am full of admiration and gratitude. You have all achieved so much. Jonathan Egan and I are looking forward to the next academic year and to working together as we fulfill Vision 2025. There are exciting times ahead for Framlingham College. Thank you.